So we are here, uh, I'm at the farm because I'm gonna borrow the welder for a little bit. But the plan is finally finish this fender here. I'm gonna look for some scrap metal. Unfortunately for me, a lot of scrap metal went to the scrap yard. So um, basically all we got is this bin and some stuff in the back, but, but it's covered in the snow. So we'll make do with what we have. So I, I plan on just making a, you know, it's gonna come up to here. It's gonna kind of be like the timber sleds. They're kind of angled up a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna make a just a square frame and this is gonna come up this I'm gonna have a bracket here to support it And then I'm gonna make a nice bar here So you can grab onto it just in case you you're stuck in a hole or something. So and then I have some more of this this is Just some plastic that I got from Wyatt um, I'm just gonna zip tie it onto the frame and call it good. That's the plan for the, the fender It's just something simple. I just needed to get it out and done Just gonna go home for now and then we'll put the green piece on and once I get some guards for the chain here we'll start getting that made got the bike back in the garage so right here on the floor I got this green plastic sheet I'm gonna measure it cut it out and probably just zip tie it to the frame Got the piece cut, got it zip tied down, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. So what we really need is a nice, nice deep snowfall so I can actually ride this how it should be rode. Because turning on this with not much snow is not very easy. The ski slides right from underneath you. Um, and right now the snow is so slippery and wet, so the ski just doesn't have the best traction in the world. So that's why I'm not driving it that much right now. All right, so we finally came down with a name for this, for the snow bike. Um, I was stuck between the snow rat and the rat bike, I think, but um, me and Wyatt decided the snow rat fit this better. It's a snow bike, and it's kind of a, a rat roddy snow bike look. That's just kind of, it's just made out of scrap metal. I mean, so we just kind of call it, we just call it the snow rat. So Wyatt makes custom decals and custom koozies. Um, he's he's currently working on getting a shirt press. He's going to be doing shirts here in the near future. I'll leave a link down to his Facebook page, and if you want to drop by, and if you want anything done, just give him a chat, and he'll make something up for you. So, so go check him out. to bring cold water over here to weld the stuff back up because I obviously can't drive this now I got the shot I got the I got the skis off and I don't have the supporting bar to hold the track onto the bike right now so what I'm gonna do is figure out figure the back out first and then we're gonna work, work our way up to the ski um, I still got some ideas I'm trying to think of to make the skis work a little better I'm gonna take a ratchet strap and try to shrink the, the track up a little bit and then I'm gonna put the bar in the bar I might have to modify a little bit too, so I might need a welder for that. So, so here's my supporting bar. Uh, this is this goes up to the top. This is the top of it. As you can see, um, this is this is the hole I was using. And then earlier this year, I tried using this hole. It just wasn't going to work out, so I re I welded it back on. And um, 
but I'm gonna cut it off here again, and I'm gonna I'm gonna modify it. I'm gonna have to take these braces off and re weld them up farther, or take the air box out, and I don't really want to do that. So, all right, guys, so we are in day three of the work on the snow bike. Um, I got the welder, so I got the welder just now. Um, we got possibly got some snow coming in this weekend. Not really sure how much, so I want to try to get this done before then. It is today's Wednesday, so hopefully get it done by Friday. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I, I gotta cut the I gotta cut those brackets out. I want to try to cut those brackets off without taking the snow bike off, because it's because it's not that easy of a process. So I think I can muster it um, and then try to weld it as best as I can with it being connected. We'll see. So I got the brackets welded. We'll see how well they work. All right, so now I'm gonna start working on the skis. Like I said, this is my old ski that I put on the Can-Am DS650. So basically I just gotta take this whole thing off, this whole bracket. So the bolt really isn't doing much, so I take the bolt off. And then I might have to take this to the farm and use the torch, because I welded this down to the metal plate on the, on the ski here. Uh, and I don't think my grinder's gonna be able to get it very well. It's just so small. So I'm gonna take this over to the farm and cut it real quick. Be right back. And then we're gonna look at this ski and we're gonna figure out a game plan. All right, so so I got this I got this piece cut off. Um, kind of let it cool down now. Uh, so I'm gonna tackle this thing, get it tore apart, and kind of see what the deal was with why it was so wobbly. Part of the reason is is because so. I took these skis off of a Articat Cougar, I think, many years ago, and the idea was to put them on the Can-Am DS650. I didn't, I did not need the bushings and stuff that came off of it, so I pitched them. And then I got the Players Indy when I made that, when I got the track off that Players Indy. It also had skis on it, but the skis were steel, and I didn't know, I just didn't want to use steel skis, so. Um, on this one, this piece right here, you can kind of see where I welded it onto it. I took that and this rubber bushing here and slapped it in. And I welded some bracing and stuff down there to make it work. Um, and it works good. As you can see, I threw in, it doesn't fit perfect, so I threw in spacers and stuff. I kind of cobbled it together. As you can see, nothing's really centered. It's, it's kind of working, but it's not. So I'm gonna tear it apart and see what the deal is and then come up with a new plan. I have a ton of rubber matting and stuff sitting out back, so I might just kind of carve something to make it work uh, with some tubing and stuff. I need some pivot for going up hills and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna figure that out here once I get this tore apart. Um, we'll come with a game plan, and I don't have any extra skis laying around. I don't have the players' indie skis anymore, so uh, I'm working with what I got. So we're gonna make something work. I'm gonna put these two skis together, and I'm gonna take this bolt. I'm gonna weld these two bolts together to hold the skis together, and um, so that's how I'm gonna hold them together at this point, and then I'm gonna come up with two braces. I'm going to come up with two braces and they're going to meet in the middle of this shaft somehow and then that'll be center. So that's kind of the game plan for this. So let's get this apart and see what we're doing. This is the only bolt I could find that would work for this at the time. Um, but this bolt, it, I think it's the bushing for this is missing. and I couldn't find something or make something at the time. Probably because I was in a hurry but I, I don't remember, it was a year ago. Anyways, this is where my wobble's coming in. I don't know why I thought this was gonna work, but so, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna come up with something different for this. Alright guys, that is day four on the snow bike build. It is Friday, so I did took it I took one break because I was really too busy to do this stuff, but um we are gonna go head over to the farm and see what we can find for the ski on the snow bike. So I need some scrap metal. Um, I'm gonna be looking for some piping, which I have plenty of piping. Uh, that's not really gonna be an issue. I really need to figure out how I want this ski to look. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> so I need some bushing to weld to. Uh, and I actually found one. So I found this in the scrap bucket. This actually goes to this actually goes to this chain here. No idea what size it is. Um, so I'm gonna get this one out for the other ski, and this, and I'm gonna weld this down to this plate here, and I'll have my own bushing there. That should work pretty good. If I can find more, make it longer, that'd be great. But um, probably just gonna go with the, just gonna go with what we got here, and should work good. All right, so I made these brackets uh, instead of using the piping. These are gonna be way better. The bushings are in there. Um, so I cut off another rubber piece. I'm carving it out right now with the grinder. Um, so I, hopefully this works out pretty good. I just have to get some bushings to put in there. And uh, yeah. So I got these brackets done. It was a more of a project than I wanted it to be, but I think it turned out really well. Um, I basically just copied this design and just made my own because I didn't have anything else. I'm hoping it's not too stiff how it pivots. We're just gonna send it how it is because I'm not going back. So now the idea is to put this bracket in the middle. So I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna. So I'm going to cut the shaft off right here, and then I'm going to weld. I haven't decided if I'm going to weld angles down or make a little square. Um, we're going to see. I'll figure that out as I go, I guess. So first things first is let's cut the shaft in half. <laughs> So I'm back. That was a more that was more of a hassle than I thought it was gonna be, um, but I'm hoping it's gonna work out the first time because I don't want to do that again. Unfortunately, putting two skis in the front is gonna make the front a little heavier, but it is what it is. All right, so this is what I cobbled up. It should work. I'm hoping. <laughs> We're gonna install it and take it for the test drive, and hopefully, it's good to go. I got the front skis on. Um, I'm gonna take it off the bike stand and see how it looks without adjusting the track, and then I'm gonna take it for a little test ride.
Having the front skis on it makes it way more stable for one. It's about the perfect height now, which is good. I can get, I can actually get on it. I can probably start it now. It's probably too hard to tell and it's not terrible, but now with the bike angled down more, you can kind of see that all the weight, and, it's, and it's, a lot of it's just because there's so much weight in the front, but it's probably because of the type of shock and skid I got. They can see that the back is up a little bit higher than the front. So all, all the wear and all the wear is going to be right here on this idler wheel. The skis are awesome. I, I have full confidence in the skis now and turning. Uh, big difference, huge difference in, in the riding experience. Now that I'm lower on the bike, my center of gravity is way better. I don't feel like I'm going to fall every time. I was just so tall, the, the center of gravity was horrible. I just felt like I was going to fall off constantly. Uh, now it's shorter for me, way better. I feel like I'm riding a dirt bike in the snow. It, I really do feel like it's a dirt bike when I'm riding now. Big difference. Next step is going to be putting a garter on that. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. We're so close to 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it, everybody that's supported me so far. And I'll see you in the next one.